Ahoy there guys, I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, take aircraft that were made for Flight Simulator 2004, FSX, whatever, older repaints and make them work in the new 64-bit sims, so prepared version 4 or 5. Uh, you're going to find in Retro Flight Sim that a lot of people are still running Flight Sim 2004 and uh, a lot of stuff was made years ago before prepared, so you're going to have to do this a lot. So on the right side, we have the download I just did off AvSim for the uh, AIM DC-1010 um, and it's for BCA Charter which was these guys British Caledonians Charter outfit that they had in the 80s with a pair of uh, DC-1010s and I'm actually on the left uh, it's a D I clicked on the DC-1030 by mistake we're gonna go to the DC-1010 and here's where we want to be um, so the first thing we're going to do is open them up and notice if I click here, compare how these look. We can delete that. We don't need that folder. Um, notice it's upside down and it's a .dds and then look at here. We can't see anything and it's .bmp, right? So we're going to make them the same. So first thing I'm going to do, just for the sake of space, I'm just going to show you guys what I do to keep everything organized and easy to find. So we'll click here, and then we're going to do this guy, shorten it to just tail number. Oh, did I leave a space there? No, oh, nope. Okay, yeah, you don't want to leave a space there. Okay, so now I'm going to drag these two guys over. All right, so now dxt.bmp, the free program. We're going to flip this, flip image and alpha. Once you drag it in, save as DDS texture. Make sure it's DXT5. Save, done. Now that's the lighting file. And I'm going to take that lighting file, copy it, and delete that crap. Delete this. There, now we have the lighting file on both. They're the same thing, so we don't really care. Flip image and alpha. Save. Cool. See, it's that easy. And the reason you want to do this is it'll make the textures, the DDX, uh, DXT5 textures will load faster in your simulator, in some cases be higher detail uh, than the default BMP. So now we have these two, right? So now the next thing you want to be careful of is since we're using these old models, COE, well, luckily I have COE, but in a lot of cases, you're going to have to pick a different model with these older, like the AIM DC 10s and stuff, because most of the models aren't converted, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy one of these. And let's go down to the bottom here. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do to reflect the change that we made. So this is number 33. So we are going to do its BCA charter and simply go like that, put a slash here because that is where we put this and we left it just the tail number's name. So I guess CAI and CalJet is their code. I didn't know that. So now 34 and then it's a BJZE, Zulu Echo and control s to save and now we're done and i would i'm just going to take this and put it on the flight plans but that's it it's that simple and um, that's how i install these uh, it's up to you if you just want to have a whole bunch of random textures and deal with that but i prefer to organize them like this and uh, yep that's that's really all there is to it just remember to flip the image and the alpha and not just the image otherwise if there's alpha and you don't flip it and you just flip the image then when you see the plane it'll look all weird and funky and nobody wants that. Have a good day.